Hello everyone, welcome to Boxing Science. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. And if you want to share our content, share it with your friends. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you uh, something that I don't normally share that often on YouTube, is I'm going to be sharing my own training highlights. It's something that I've been sharing a little bit on Instagram recently, um, and people seem to be interested on in how I'm keeping in shape and how I approach uh, strength training. So I thought I'd share it with you today, and especially because of today's session is a great session that I've done with uh, GB Bobsley athlete and two-time Olympian Ben Simons, aka Ben the Bounce. We're going to be collaborating more, we're going to be training together more. I'm going to be basically following whatever he's got training program wise, and I'm going to be learning from him. He's a fantastic athlete, and I can't wait to put my uh, body through the paces, but also learn from him as well. So today we worked on a full body hypertrophy session, um, looking at shoulders, chest, back, uh, and then the lower body as well. Uh, we start off with a full body movement using the Viking press landmine snatch. It's a great way to train that posterior chain, preparing yourself for a heavy session. So you're getting your hamstrings, your glutes involved, you're pulling up, you're using your traps, and then you're pressing up overhead. Great way to get the body firing, ready to go into some key lifts. Using the hip thrusts with a pause at the top, just to increase that glute activation and to increase that time under tension. Using a reverse lunge, uh, using a Reebok step. Uh, the Reebok step creates increased range of motion, and we're using the kettlebell in the opposite hand to just create a little bit more activation through the glute med. The wider that we go, the more that this hip needs to work to stabilize that knee, because that knee's just wanting to drift in. So having it opposite arm, opposite leg, very good, and also challenging the core as well. Doing a single leg squat, this is something that Ben excelled in better than me. Uh, before we go into our heavy uh, push and pull superset. So we did a dumbbell bench press decline, we use the decline because when we're wanting to go heavy and wanting to go for volume, we're wanting to protect that shoulder joint. So going decline, let us shoulders sit back a little bit more, retracted and being stable in that position as well. So that's the reason why we use decline. We went for a chin up as well. We went for 10 reps, four sets, but on the fourth set we went max out. Then we went for a dumbbell Arnold press. This is recruiting more from the shoulders, increased time under tension, under less load. And then we finished off with uh, rollouts, hyperextension, and uh, seated calf raise. Guys, if you've got any questions about the workout, please let us know. If anybody's got any more questions, please find them in the comment box below. And if you like the content and you want to see more videos of me training, please let me know, and I'll pop them up and share them with you. Okay guys, see you soon.